Hi, I'm Ethan. I love muzzleloading. Today we have some muzzleloading news out of Washington State. Last week, the Washington Fish and Wildlife Commission struck down rules that would have allowed slight modernization to their muzzleloader hunting season. Currently in Washington State, Washington is part of kind of the Northwest State region when it comes to muzzleloader hunting rules. Their muzzleloader hunting rules are so restrictive that we have muzzleloader manufacturers, particularly modern muzzleloader manufacturers, creating an entire line of Northwest legal muzzleloaders so that folks can hunt with their inline muzzleloaders in these states. Currently in Washington, you cannot have an optic or any type of glass attached to your muzzleloader. You can have an iron or a peep sight, and you cannot attach any electronic device to your muzzleloader like a camera or a rangefinder. Now the proposed rule change is focused on a few things. The first being amending the sight restrictions to allow a one times magnification scope or to allow a modern red dot sight to be attached to your muzzleloader. Second, they wish to amend the electronic devices rule to allow for video cameras to be attached to a muzzleloader. Like the, I think the popular one is the Tacticam that you see a lot of hunters using. And the third change doesn't have anything to do with the sights and is interesting because these previous rule changes are talking about modernizing the muzzleloader rules to allow for a type of scope and a red dot sight. But the third proposed rule change wanted to amend the definition of a muzzleloader to define both the projectile and the charge needing to be loaded from the muzzle. Now there's not any documentation to support this, but I believe that this proposed rule change was to restrict the use of the federal fire stick technology during Washington's muzzleloader season. We're seeing this adopted in several states across the United States here in their muzzleloader seasons, not getting into that at all. Um, but I want to say that the federal fire stick and the traditions nitro fire, and I think what will become CVA's addition to this lineup are still legal in the modern rifle season, just not necessarily in the muzzleloader season in many states, Washington being one of them. Now I'm going to have a link to the entire presentation that went along with these proposed changes, as well as the meeting minutes that the Fish and Wildlife Commission went through uh, so you can see for yourself and you can understand what this kind of process looked like in the link in the description down below. It'll be the first link there. What I really liked about these minutes and the presentation is that they cataloged the public input in regards to these proposed rule changes, which are incredibly important. I think we as hunters and sportsmen feel like these rules and things can be made without our input, but it's nice to see states like Washington, and I know Indiana does it as well, include these public comment periods so you can voice your opinion about these proposed rule changes and make your voice heard. Now, that doesn't mean that they're gonna listen necessarily to your opinion, but they are gonna outline these and they are gonna be a point of public record you know, the different categories of public opinion here. And then in the online discourse about these proposed rule changes, we had a, a, a back and forth too about these changes because as hunters and sportsmen are getting older, they're finding it's easier to use an optic, even if it is just a one times power scope like being proposed here uh, so that they can still hunt as they age. Now, I'm not arguing for or against these proposed rule changes, just trying to give you an idea of what's going on so that you can get an idea of how these states operate and how the states are handling muzzleloader seasons across the country. Now, like I said in the beginning, the Fish and Wildlife Commission voted against these rules. It's kind of a split decision based on what I can tell in the record here, but there won't be any changes currently to Washington's muzzleloader season. We know how the Washington Fish and Wildlife Commission felt about this when they struck it down, but what do you think? I mean, if you're in Washington or not, I'm curious to see what the muzzleloading enthusiasts and the muzzleloading hunters especially that watch the channel uh, think about this proposed rule change. I'm in Indiana and it's kind of an unlimited muzzleloader season rules here. Um, but as always, I think it's interesting to see states like Pennsylvania and Montana with their heritage or primitive only muzzleloader seasons kind of coming into effect. Um, so let me know what you think down in the comments. Really interested to see uh, what the muzzleloading community thinks about this. Kind of give an idea of where muzzleloading hunters of all types uh, think the states are heading in the next five and 10 years as, uh, as the future of muzzleloading starts to unfold for us here. Like I said, I'll have a link to the direct presentation and the minutes from the meeting so that you can determine uh, your own thoughts and do your own research in the first link in the description down below. Hope you enjoyed watching. I'm Ethan, I love muzzleloading. We'll catch you next time.